Hey y'all, what's up Aries? This is your girl, Comatic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. This is going to be a mini read. I was called by the Most High God. I was called by Spirit to do all 12 Zodiac signs, even though it's going to be shadow band. I might not give very many views at all, but oh well, I was called by the higher ups the spiritual higher, higher ups, not the higher, higher ups, but the spiritual court, God to do many reads for all 12 Zodiacs. So Pisces, we're going to see what's going on for you. Okay. I might not even use this deck because I just used this deck on uh, three other readings. Y'all go check out Capricorn. Uh, well, you know, you may be cross watching, but I just did a Pisces read. Oh my God, it's too much going on. I went way past five or 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, Let's see. We're going to see what's going on for you, Aries. What is going on? What is going on for Aries? That I don't know. But we're going to figure it out, Aries. Okay, we're going to see what's going on for Aries. I don't know. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, oh, I was in love with the Sagittarius, you could be in love with the Sagittarius, I don't know, you could be working with the Sagittarius, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just thinking, he blew my mind, also had a flip side, so much like a Gemini. Oh, he was freaky like a Taurus. Okay, for real, let me quit playing. Spear, give me one card. Give me one card for uh, Aries, please. One card for Aries. One card for Aries. I feel like this is going to be a different, interesting read. One card for Aries, please. That's too many, Spirit. One card for Aries. What is going on with my Aries? I need to light some sage, too, in a bit. What's going on for my Aries? Somebody could be facing jail time. You could be getting a lot of money. Somebody could be facing jail time for what they did to someone or what they said about someone. Yeah, Queen of Wands here. Queen of, what did I tell you? Queen of Wands here, Justice card here, Devil card here. Somebody could have worked in cahoots to try to get somebody arrested or thrown in jail. This could be you, Aries, or this could be somebody else. Somebody could have worked with a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles. Somebody believed a lie. Somebody believed something that, that, that wasn't true. Three of Swords here, and now you're heartbroken about this with the Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Somebody knows that they're going to jail, Aries. I feel like you. Okay, this could be you or you could be cross watching this part. This could be this person. I feel like whoever this Queen of Wands is, you could have worked with several other Queen of Wands to attack this Libra or to attack this Leo or to attack this uh, Capricorn or this uh, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What did I tell you? King of Cups here. There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that's involved in something heavy, uh, a water sign with Chariot and the King of Cups Cancer energy. Six of Pentacles here, Ten of Wands here. There's a lot going on. So, yes, Spirit, help me get down to the get down. What the fuck is this? Somebody regrets doing something. Ten of Swords here. Somebody regrets. It's like, I don't know if you regret doing this, whatever this is. I don't know if you regret doing this because you're facing jail time and you're just mad that you got caught. You're not really sorry. Or I don't know if you regret doing this because somebody lied on somebody. I feel like somebody could have went to a spiritual practitioner, Aries. What is this? Somebody could have paid a spiritual practitioner, this Queen of Wands, to get information on somebody. Okay. You could have worked in cahoots with this person to block somebody or stop somebody. Okay, you could have been working in cahoots to try to keep two individuals from coming together. Somebody could have worked with somebody's karmic partner. Somebody could have worked with somebody's family member. Okay, so this could be your brother or your sister. Somebody could have worked in cahoots with somebody's brother or sister to block them from being with their divine counterpart. So maybe you didn't want your brother or your sister or your cousin or your friend. I feel like there's family involved in something. I'm hearing what's done in the dark will come to the light. Yeah, look, this is my Miss Cleo dick. So somebody could have definitely went to a spiritual practitioner or some type of a uh, dark high priestess or some type of voodoo priest somebody went to a tarot reader or some type of spiritual practitioner to get information on a libra or a capricorn I'm here. I'm hearing on an emperor or an empress. Somebody went to somebody to get information on somebody and they were lied to. I feel like you could have worked in cahoots. Maybe that's why you're in regret. You could have worked in cahoots to go against this emperor or this empress based off what this spiritual practitioner said. I feel like you trusted somebody. This spiritual practitioner could be a friend of a family. 
I don't know. This could be somebody that runs some type of a cult or secret organization or society. This could even be some type of church. I feel like you believe somebody's lies. I don't know what this is. Nine of Pentacles here. You worked in cahoots to try to block somebody's still uh, stability, to try to block somebody's great fortune. Nine of Swords here. Now you're worried that you face in jail time. I'm hearing that you are. Either you did this stupid ass shit or somebody else. Somebody is crazy. What the fuck? Eh. <laughs> I got to get quiet for a second. I'm here. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to rock you. Woo! Doom, doom, doom. You probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. you like, KMP, what the fuck are you talking about? Go watch the movie Me, Myself, and Irene with Jim Carrey. You'll know what I'm talking about. I feel like somebody is a fucking schizo. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody could be a fucking schizo or somebody can, I don't know. Somebody is not all the way sane, for real. I feel like somebody believes somebody's lies. You could have believed your sister lies, your mother lies, your father lies, your brother lies. I feel like something is regarding family. I feel like somebody believes something that wasn't true about somebody. Like you, I feel like, man, this is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. Y'all like my hair? Yo. Yeah. Ain't this cute, Aries? I fucking, I had, so I had a red wig, right? And this wig came rain, way down here. And I was like, I'm sick of this long ass wig. Let me cut this hoe into a bob. So your girl cut this bitch into a bob and I look real, yeah, no, I look real good. I look real good. Anyways, back to the read. Wow, two of wands here, five of pentacles here, judgment card here. Whoever you are that's been attacking this empress or this emperor, whatever this is, you up under heavy fucking judgment for this shit. And you're also facing jail time. And I don't feel sorry for you because one, one thing that you're never supposed to do is, is jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here, Three of Cups here. This is crazy. This is a lot going on. You're never supposed to jump on the bandwagon. Example, you're probably saying, KMP, what are you talking about? For example, if somebody come up to you and be like, I don't like that man or that woman. I don't like that divine masculine, divine feminine. I don't like Corey. I don't like Robert. I don't like them because they did this and they did that. You're supposed to listen and keep going. Whether you agree with them or not, you're never supposed to join in and attack somebody. I feel like you intentionally, I feel like somebody was sticking up for their family member. Somebody could have been sticking up for their sister-in-law, their brother-in-law, their mother, their father, their brother, their sister, their cousin. Somebody was helping somebody do something against a empress because of lies that this spiritual practitioner told you guys or told this person or whatever the fuck this is. This is some weird ass shit. Oh, this is crazy. I don't know what this is. Hold on, y'all. Damn, my, my pants all the way up to my stomach and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I got, had to pull my pants out, y'all. Get the damn wedgie. My pants, my pants then rolled way up here and shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't know what this is, but I'm finna get the fuck up out of this shit. Cause this shit right here lame. Ace of Cups. This shit lame as fuck. Whoever you are, Male or female, you could even be cross watching for Aries, or this is you, Aries. You mean to tell me that your dumb ass was attacking somebody? Whatever this is, you 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 were attacking a divine masculine or a divine feminine heavily with divine feminine with the empress. But you know, again, we don't read gender in tarot. Two of cups here. You were literally attacking somebody based off what a spiritual practitioner said. See, this is why I don't pull cards on people. I don't never pull cards on people. I don't even really pull cards on myself. The only time I pull my motherfucking cards out is when I work because this is my one of my jobs. The, I, the only time you're never y'all are crazy, man. Y'all better stop going to these motherfucking readers. A lot of these readers be lying and telling people a bunch of bullshit. Your person is coming back or your person don't love you and like you when they really do. A lot of these readers will lie to you because they had a fucked up ass life. They got a fucked up ass birth chart. They're not really spiritually gifted or, or they're not a divine feminine or a divine masculine or they don't got a twin flame or a high level soulmate. These motherfucking readers will fucking lie to you purposely to fuck up your shit and i feel like whoever this reader is this reader could could there they could have been somebody could have been an empress somebody could have actually been an empress but they forfeited their destiny telling lies this could be somebody that's a friend of the family or did, i don't know what this is if you're resonating with this put this in the comment section this could be somebody that's a friend of a family or this could be a family member that lied to you. I feel like somebody's brother or sister or cousin or friend or aunt or uncle, they wanted information on an emperor or an empress. And whoever this spiritual practitioner is, they lied because they wanted to break two individuals from coming together. So say, for instance, because I'm getting a, I'm getting a scenario in my third eye. Say, for instance, your sister or your brother or your cousin or your friend wanted to date somebody. 
And so they hired a, a, a spiritual practitioner, a tarot reader, a voodoo priest. Somebody hired somebody to get information. I feel like whoever, wow, this is crazy. I had to get quiet for a second. I feel like whoever this spiritual practitioner is or voodoo priest, this person could have actually been sleeping with your family member. This person could have actually been sleeping with your friend. Somebody is just a, somebody is a fucking Jezebel. Like, so somebody could have lied and said, uh, no, you shouldn't be with that divine feminine or that, or that divine masculine. They're a gold digger. They're an opportunist. They're a hoe. They're a slut. They're a prostitute. They're a Jezebel. And you believe this shit or this person, either you or this person believe this shit and you going to jail i feel like there's a lot of people here that's gonna go to jail a whole group of people what did i tell you tower car here there's a whole group of fucking people here that's gonna go to jail for attacking a emperor oh my fucking god yo i gotta get some stage i know my pants keep rolling up y'all i'll be right back hold up <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck is this y'all and you know, I'm mad. I'm fucking mad. Because this goddamn platform ain't going to do nothing but shadow bed this goddamn re. I got to get some sage on this. This shit is funny and sad at the same time. I'm hearing, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. This is some sad ass shit right here. This is some sad ass shit because ain't no way in hell. Can't nobody pay me shit. Can't no spiritual practitioner. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Look, can't no motherfucking spiritual practitioner. Can't no motherfucking tear reader. Nobody but God can tell me something about anybody. Like, I might agree with somebody. Somebody could come up to me and be like some... Yeah, that divine masculine, that divine feminine, or that man or that woman, they a snake, they a fraud, they a phony. I may actually agree with you, but I'm not going to spiritually attack somebody. I feel like somebody was spiritually attacking somebody based off what this spiritual practitioner said. And it's like all of these motherfuckers is up under judgment. This could be your family. This could be, I don't know, this could be a friend of the family. Maybe a friend of a family could have went to you and said, what do you think about that divine masculine, that divine feminine? I don't know. I got to, I know, I know a lady. I know a man, they're a tarot reader, they're a spiritual practitioner, they're a voodoo priest, or this this voodoo priest or this spiritual practitioner, they could be a friend of the family. I know somebody that can tell us about that divine mask and that divine, I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know if you're wrong or you're right. I don't know. I don't know if you intentionally did. You could have worked with this spiritual practitioner or this voodoo priest, whatever the fuck you did, bitch, nigga, a hoe, a girl, boy, a uh, slut dog, cat dog, horse, whatever the fuck this is. Confirmation. Angel number 642 on the clock. I don't know what the hell this is, but if you did, if you did the crime, you about to do the time. Oh, you about to do the time. Because I don't know what the fuck this is. I really don't. And I got to go. This shit funny. You mean to tell me two of cups here. You did this because you didn't want two people coming together. You may have actually wanted this person to come. Whoever this family member is of yours or friend of yours or, or friend of the whatever the fuck. You may have, I'm here in family though. You may have actually wanted somebody to come, come uh, connect with somebody or get with somebody, but you wasn't sure. So you hired a spiritual practitioner. This spiritual practitioner finna die away, um, finna pass away. Something finna happen to this bitch or this nigga that lied. Somebody lied on a divine masculine or a divine feminine because they wanted this person. Somebody is up under heavy fucking judgment. I feel like whoever this sp spiritual practitioner is, Whoever the fuck this spiritual practitioner is, man, this person is finna be, I don't know, bro. Like, this is a bona fide snake. This is a Jezebel. Somebody was trying to call a divine feminine or a divine masculine a Jezebel. This bitch is a Jezebel. I feel like somebody hired somebody to get to get information on a divine masculine or a divine feminine because they wasn't sure if they cousin or they homegirl or they homeboy or they brother or they sister should connect with somebody. And this spiritual practitioner lied. This spiritual practitioner lied because because they're jealous of this divine feminine or this divine masculine or in the in i'm hearing and they also could have lied because they could have been sleeping with your family member or sleeping with your friend somebody is a buzz down somebody is a fucking jezebel and somebody is sneaky as fuck with the hermit card here somebody is lie somebody lied 
Somebody lied to a whole family or a whole group of people about a divine feminine. And it's like now you in this spiritual practitioner, all of these fucking people are up under judgment for attacking the empress or attacking the emperor all based off lies because this voodoo ass priest, this spiritual practitioner told lies. Or you could have you, you're really in your head about this. Or you could have just actually you actually could have been working with this bitch. Maybe your friend or your brother or your sister or your cousin. I, I don't know. Maybe they didn't know that you were really. I don't know what the fuck this is. This is a bunch of illusions. I just seen the seven of cups, seven of swords here. I don't know, but I gotta go. I gotta go, Aries. You going to jail. Somebody, you going to jail. This person is going to jail because I don't feel sorry for you, bitch. Y'all need to stop hiring. It's, it's okay. Listen. I've been to a tarot reader before. Like before I started my tarot channel, I went to a tarot reader. I took the, excuse me, spiritual birth. I took the information and, and kept it for myself. And that's it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go do a spell work on nobody. I don't pull cards on people. And I would never go back to a tarot reader because I'm a tarot reader. I went to a tarot reader one time in my whole life before I started my tarot channel. When I first got introduced to, uh, to tarot, because I didn't really know what it was. God brought me to tarot. I'm telling you, a lot of these spiritual practitioners out here, they shouldn't, they should have never touched a deck of cards. They're not spiritually gifted. And if they are, they use their spiritual gifts for evil. They pull cards on people. They look into crystal balls and shit. They do shit to people and then they get jealous. That's why I don't go to readers. Because a lot of these fucking readers, matter of fact, I ain't even going to speak. No, I went the first, very first reader that I went to. Let's just say I didn't feel right after talking to that bitch. I, I will never go to another reader again. These bitches be jealous. You go up to a voodoo a reader, a tarot reader, a voodoo priest, whatever the fuck, and try to get information on your person or, or your destiny or your future. And these bitches will get jealous and they'll do spell work on you. And they're trying to block you and stop you. Whoever this karmic ass bitch is, this tarot reader, this spiritual practitioner, this bitch is going to jail. Jail. And I, I'm sorry. Sorry to tell you, baby, you gonna go right along with her. All of these, whatever this is, this family, these got something. If you ain't going to jail, you up under heavy judgment. There's a lot of black magic and spell work that's backfiring. This shit is over. Like, I don't know what this is, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, all I can tell you is, is why the fuck you jump on a bandwagon? Why the fuck you do that? Huh? Huh? Why you do that? I never do that. Can't nobody come up to me and be like, I don't like that man. I don't like that woman for real. You don't like that man. You don't like that woman. Well, I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon and I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work against them too. I'm gonna I'm a ten of swords them too. I'm gonna I'm gonna get them up out of here too. You stupid. Whoever you are, Aries. I hope this ain't you or this is somebody else. Please, I don't know. Whoever the fuck this spiritual practitioner is, yeah, it says need this person need help. Now this spiritual practitioner, this voodoo priest, this Terry, they need help because they they didn't gotta. I don't know, man. Somebody is fucking evil. Somebody portrayed themselves to be an empress. Oh, I'm a good tarot reader and I'm this. I'm that. I can help you. In your family, I can help you in your person. I'm this, I'm that, blah blah blah. Let me help you. I'm very well known. I, I yeah, somebody, somebody could have wow, somebody is a sneaky bitch. Somebody could have said they're um, how can I put this? Somebody could have said that they um damn, what's the word? I can't think of a word. Like their skills. Somebody could have said that their main skills was in the love department. Somebody could say, oh, I can help you with your, with your life. I can help you with your twin flame journey. I can help you with this. I can help you from that. But this is a bitter ass bitch. This is a Jezebel ass bitch that that's just evil. I feel like there's several people here that's up under judgment that's in regret. I don't know what this is, but uh, next time don't jump jump on bandwagons because it's a bunch of people here that's facing jail time. Because I feel like, I don't know, somebody lied on an emperor or somebody lied on an empress to get a bunch of people to attack. I feel like whoever lied is a fucking tarot reader or a voodoo priest. This tarot reader or this voodoo priest lied on an empress. So all of you motherfuckers decided to attack somebody to try to get rid of somebody and make all of these people are up under judgment. Whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, higher friend here. And if you're the emperor or the empress in this situation, you're protected by the most high God. You could even be chosen. This is why these people are up under judgment and facing karma. Yeah, they're blocked to a sword tier. All right, I'm finna go for real. These readings are starting to get too long. It's too much. I'm finna go. I said five or 10 minutes. If your reading ain't five or 10 minutes, oh, well, I'm sorry. That's it. Yeah, don't jump on the bandwagon. So if you're afraid that you're going to go to jail or you're going to be in trouble or if you're afraid that you can't reverse some type of spell work or black magic, oh, well, you shouldn't have jumped on the bandwagon. How the fuck you going to go? You don't go to a reader, whether they tell you something good or not, and attack somebody. You're attacking a chosen one. I don't know, bitch. Bye. I mean, I ain't calling you a bitch, Aries, if you ain't did this, but whatever. I don't know. Bye. Peace. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.